Hey everyone, it's Majam here and welcome to part 6 of the Chen's Family Let's Play. So Natal just got back from school and he's actually not at the apartment, he's at Lucas's house because Lucas just received this weekend a new game table. I still don't know the name of this table but you can actually play a card on this. And he talked about this to Natel and his friends, so Alexander and Samir. He thought that it could be cool after school to come in here, back to his house and play with this game table and have fun. And so the idea with this table was that maybe the boys could play a role play game, you know, an RPG. Just like in Stranger Things with Dungeons and Dragons. So yeah, I wanted to do something like that because I mean, they're kind of a geeky group of friends and I kind of like like this so yeah this is what we're gonna do uh, but first I started a group gathering and all the boys have to do their homework so they're gonna going to do that uh, let's go and do homework also what I wanted to do in this part is actually go to the humor and hijinks festival with Willow, Bella and Lily, Lily Fang because there should be the Humor and Hijinks Festival tonight, otherwise we can go to the karaoke bar. And the idea I had for Willow to leave Natalie in here is that she maybe send a text message to Mila Munch, with who she's in the Good Timers, so she knows her, and maybe she asked her to look after Natalie tonight so that she can go out, and I'm pretty sure Mil Mila understands that because she's a single mom as well, so she understands how hard it is to go out when you have children to take care of. We're definitely going to have to pay her back by maybe, I don't know, going out and grab a cup of coffee or something like that together. Maybe do something like that with Mila to thank her for looking after Natal tonight. So once they're done with their homework, which I think is pretty soon to be, uh, they're going to go and play card with... Uh, we're going to play with Lucas, Alexander and Samir. And we definitely need to work on Natal's relationship with Lucas and Samir because he's really good friends with Alexander. I mean, he's his best friend. But the relations he has with Lucas and Samir is really not that great. And I'm wondering if playing cards is actually not working on the mental skill. I don't know. I hope so, that could be so great actually. So let's go and talk. Uh, tease about crush. Oh, let's go, let's see, I don't know if this is... Oh yes, this is actually working on the mental skill. And I don't know if teasing about crush is a good or a mean interaction. <laughs> it's like, hell yeah, I have a girlfriend. I mean, the fact that they're all talking together, it's just like if they're playing together. Kick out of the buddies? Oh no. Talk about the buddies. Let's go talk to that, to Alexander. I don't know why. Look at that. He's always trying to do mean things to Lucas. I don't know if he likes him or not. Let's just go for an unbelievable story. And I think this is something he wants to do. Yes. So that's cool that this table is actually working on the mental skill. Let's join game. And so the Humor and Hijinks Festival is starting. Uh, oh, and we look got promoted. That's great. Uh, oh no. Let's just do another game. We can go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival a, a little bit later. Oh, that's so great. How they took the cards all together. Uh, so let's go. And I would like for you to tell an unbelievable story. Tell an unbelievable story. And then maybe, uh, maybe we can talk about fractions to Samir and talk about school to Alexander. I don't know why there was the make fun of mood to Alexander. He may be a little bit sad or maybe uncomfortable. So yeah, Natal is going to spend the night in here playing with his friends. And then once Willow is done in the Human Hijinks Festival, she's gonna come back, come back and pick him up to go back to the house. Or actually to the apartment. This is not working really fast though on the mental skill, but at least it's working on it, so that's great. And how far is he? Oh, I think tomorrow he will improve his grade and maybe become a B student. That could be cool. We definitely need to go and 
have an A in school for his aspiration. Oh, I think Lucas lost because he's not playing anymore. Oh, and he's leaving. Are you leaving the conversation? Yes, I think so. Well then, let's go and talk to Samir a little bit longer. Uh, ask to trade both critters? No, maybe enthuse about candy a little bit. Okay, so their game is done now. So what I'm gonna do is actually I will go back to Willow and I'll resume once uh, she's at the festival. Okay, so while I was resuming to Willow, Bella actually asked us to go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival, which is great. So we're going to bring some friends along. Uh, not Richmond. Uh, but where's Lily? Oh, Lily is here. So yeah, we're gonna go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival with Bella and Lily Feng. Alright, so we just arrived at the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Uh, so what we have to do is actually watch fireworks. Uh, we will have other opportunities to do that. Oh, Luke is here. It's Richmond. How great. You know what? We're going to join the dark side. Uh, join the pranksters together. This way, we can be a little bit mean to Richmond and not being, I don't know, judged for this. Even though nobody is judging anyone for being mean, but to Richmond, tonight it's going to be... Relieving night. Uh, so first, I would like for Natal to care for self because he's really not in a good mood. He had a pretty stressful day at school today. So yeah, just care for yourself, little boy. And we can actually meet other people around here. So there's Yulrike here. Uh, let's go and do a fun introduction. I don't know. Is there someone else around here? Oh, there's Don Lothario. Um. This is Renaya Muni Munib. Yes. Uh, Morgan Feudis. Uh, who's that? Penny Pizzazz. Okay. And of course, there's Richmond. There's not that many people, actually. And there's Victor Fang. So maybe Lily asked her husband to come with her. Uh, so, we need to be a little bit mischievous with people. Let's go and imply Jokster's sabotage. And. Oh no, not set the table. Oh, sing the prankster theme song. I just love this interaction. It's so funny. <laughs> I don't know why I find this so funny, but yeah. Make fun of corporate goons. Oh, she's not taking this bad. There was the, the bonus on relationships over there, so that's great. Uh, we can imply a jokester sabotage. And is Bella in the conversation? Not really. That's actually weird. I haven't thought of this, but Bella is in the prankster in the prankster team. I mean, she's a good sim. She should be into the jokesters, but no, she joined us. I mean, she didn't have eno enough choices. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, we can give her an apartment key. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, we can trick her with hand buzzer, and then I would love to go and chat with Rich Richmond actually and. Do a little bit of a mischief with him. I was hoping there would be maybe more people around here so that we don't. Oh no, I missed it. Well, anyway. Yeah, I hope there would be maybe a little bit more people around here so that we look and meet other other persons. But hey. You know what? Uh, we're going to stop that and sing the prankster's theme song to Richmond. He's actually speaking to Victor Fang, and he doesn't look as if he's in a really great, great mood. Oh well. Uh, make a flirtatious joke, no, but maybe imply tea sabotage. I don't think he's in any team. What did he do? I thought he blew a kiss to Willow. <laughs> Yay! We prank you! Uh, let's go and... Im oh, convince tea is poisonous. And then... Find common grounds? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, maybe not do that claim to be a criminal mastermind, because otherwise he could use that against Willow, so we're not going to do something like that. Victor seemed to be having so much fun. <laughs> In the middle of this conversation, maybe he doesn't realize that Willow and Richmond used to be a thing. And now he's leaving. Maybe he realized that there was something weird there. 
Adunda, Adunda Wallet. Uh, oh, he's yelling at us. Smooth apology. No, oh, fight. Do we dare? Hmm, maybe not right now, but at some point. Maybe one day they will fight. Oh, he's leaving. Well then. Who's that? Uh, this is Lane Murray. We can maybe talk to him. Let's do a cheerful introduction. And then we can maybe imply to sabotage and convince team it's poisonous. There is not that many interactions actually. Let's go and talk a little bit to Don. Um, let's go and do a funny introduction. Wow, midship level three already. That's interesting. Uh, maybe we can talk to Lily as well. Gossip about office romances. Uh, compliment outfit. I mean, her dress is pretty nice. And then... Complain about work? Of course, we would complain about work. Even though she's doing pretty well. Yes, she's now complaining about work. Instill with false confidence. Let's do that with Dawn. Okay, so the pranksters are still in the lead. That's great. What? <laughs> oh, that was so weird. Uh, maybe we can... There's always the, the same interactions that pops up. I would like something maybe different. What is she doing? Oh, she's convincing that tea is poisonous. Oh yes, we won! That's great. So we've had 500 simoleons, a voodoo doll and fireworks. Uh, I don't know if we should sell the voodoo doll or... Oh, we need to watch the fireworks. Can we do that? Uh, extinguish? No. Uh, can we go and watch the fireworks? How do we do that? I don't think that this is working. So you know what? We're going to put this one in here. Okay, never mind. Uh, place in world and light. This way you know we're going to watch some fireworks and complete this because I think if you complete this you can actually earn some satisfaction point which is sometimes really nice to have. It didn't work? Oh, that suck. Uh, let's go for the other one then. Hopefully this time it's going to work. Is it working? Yay! That's so great. I love fireworks. It actually gives a weird feeling in the belly or in the tummy. There we go, that's great. So we've completed this goal, which is fine. Uh, we can tell an engaging story to Lily. That was fun to hang out with her tonight, even though we haven't spent that much time with them. We actually try... Oh, give parenting tips. I don't think she's going to like this because I think Lily is actually someone who hates children. But yeah, that was a fun night. We've earned, we've earned a little bit of money, which is fine. Uh, we can maybe give fake bad news. I mean, it's in the mood. It's in the feel of this festival. <laughs> but yes, that, that was a fun night. Oh, she really disliked this. Sorry. Uh, discuss work maybe a little bit before leaving. So yeah, that was a fun night. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is actually bring Willow home. And she's first, of course, going to pick up Natal. And I think I'm going to resume tomorrow in the evening. Okay, so we just came back home and Natal just asked Willow an advice. So when I grow up, I want to be a ninja when I grow up. What to, what do I need to do now to start getting ready for being a ninja when I'm a grown-up? I think we've already had this one. Uh, I think Willow would say, start practicing your hiding. And, oh no, the responsibility! Oh, actually, how are his... Uh, oh, this is disgusting. Let's clean this up. Is there still some leftovers? Let's go for some leftovers. And Natal is actually gonna go to bed, that's great. Um, 
Oh, he has quite the empathy and the emotional control and we still need to work on his responsibility. And we only have four days until he ages up to work on his aspiration. Hopefully we're going to be able to make it, otherwise I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take care of their moods and... Oh my god, we love. Okay, let's just go and have a quick meal. Uh, you're going to have some applesauce. That's going to be enough and we're going to throw that away. There we go. Anyway, so I'm going to resume uh, in the next evening. Alright, so Natalie's back home from school and his grades are up and he came back home with a friend. He came back home with Amy over here and he also has a school project to work on. So I'm going to put that here and he's going to start and work carefully and maybe Amy is actually her, or actually he is, a uh, homework buddy. You know, maybe they have to do this project together and they're going to work on it together and get to know each other. I think that could be cool, you know, for him to have another friend than his boy's friend. I mean, it's nice sometimes to have a girlfriend. So ask for help with project. This way she's going to hang out here. And is this as well working on the mental skill? Oh, great. It's also working on the mental skill. That's so cool. Uh, so we can get to know her. I think we've already know we already know her traits. So she's a genius. I think we're going to have a pretty nice project with her. And what is that actually? Oh, it's the school project uh, solar system. That's great. I was actually reading. <laughs> anyway, she's about bravery. No, let's go and tell a gross joke. Look at that. They have so many bonuses on their relationships right now. I'm gonna take a quick screenshot though. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, where's Kinga? Oh, she's over there. Oh, and this is the school project uh, Willow and Natel were working on. I've put this in Willow's bedroom so that, you know, Natel can work on this project with Amy. Because this is a project, a project for school while the other one is more a project that Natel and Willow are working on together. Uh, we can talk about favorite animal. Wow, that's improving fairly fast. That's fine. Uh, let's discuss about Fraction. And his responsibility is increasing as well. That's, that's perfect. That could be actually pretty nice if he had the emotional control in the green and the empathy as well. Maybe we will need to play a little bit more with the Doctor playset for this. Okay, so Willow is actually embarrassed. Oh, and she's quite tired uh, because... Uh, let's go and warm himself up. Oh, great! Nadal reached mental level 8. And yeah, during the during the night, Willow and Nadal were actually uh, always woken up by Kinga. I don't know what happened to her, but she was always annoying and, you know, running either in Nadal's bedroom and then in Willow's bedroom and waking them up. That was really annoying. First I thought it was a glitch, but no, that was Kinga being really annoying. How far is that now? Okay, I think they're almost done with it. Let's work a little bit more on their relationship though. Uh, we can maybe make a silly face. Let's do that. I think Natel would do that kind of thing. And then pop a culture reference. And is warming self up working on the fun? Not really. Um, maybe Willow can read something. Oh. Maybe can get stuck here. That's maybe why she's meowing all the time. Let's put that here. There we go. Hopefully now it's gonna get better. She still has some food and her litter box is really disgusting, but that's, that's okay. We can take care of that later. Okay, I think they're close to be friends now. That could be quite cool to have her being a friend. Maybe she can also enters, enter the bodies and maybe one of the boys is not going to be happy to have a girl in the group. Just like in Stranger Things. I mean, I really, really like this TV show. I don't know why, I just loved it. And I like the fact that the children are as important as all the other characters. Oh, great! That's so cool. It's done. Okay, so now that they're done with this school project... Okay, so we have a great view of Kinga using the bathrooms, or actually her little box. 
Uh, let's try to become friends with Amy. And then I think she's going to, ha to need to go back to her house. Because we're kind of tired right now, thanks to Kinga waking us up all night long. Uh, are they hungry though? Uh, maybe a little bit. Uh, maybe we look and go and serve some dinner. This time I'm going to make sure to prepare something that's vegetarian safe. We're gonna go for a tofu tacos. This one is definitely a vegetarian vegetarian dish. A pop a culture reference once again. Don't go to bed right away. I know you're tired, but do a heartfelt compliment as well. Maybe we can invite her right now. Or maybe we should become friends with her first and then invite her into the bodies. Because Natal is uh, the leader of this club, so he chooses who enters and who leaves. Hopefully the boys are going to be okay to have a girl within the club. <laughs> are they friends now? Oh cool, they're friends! That was fast, that was cool. Uh, make fun of adults maybe. Oh, Willow is so tired. You can stop reading, Willow, and go prepare some food. I really should get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me, see you later. Yeah, I knew she had to go. But that's great, we did a really great solar system. Uh, where can we put this, actually? Uh, maybe we can put this just above here. Yes, I think I'm going to use the move objects sheet, of course, to put it here, just like I did with the volcano here. Uh, okay, so that was a fun night. Natal is so tired. Don't sleep right now, you actually need to work on your homework, so let's go and do homework. And I actually think that Willow wants to help Natal with his homework. Oh, not anymore. Never mind. I also think that we have some pictures to hang up, uh, because I saw in Natal's inventory that he had a picture of him and Alexander. Maybe we can put that in his bedroom. Maybe in here. Uh, so which one? Okay, we're going to put this one in. Add a frame and name. Natal and Alexander. There we go. Uh, and we're going to sell the other ones. What's that? This is actually kind of annoying to have other pictures from other other saves appearing here. Oh, and also we need to work on our wood critter. That could be cool before he ages up to into a teen. Uh, then once you're done with that, let's go and grab a serving. Uh, Willow, I think you need to lecture lecture Kinga about eating human food and then lecture about jumping on counters. Look at that relationship though. So great. Oh great, she learned not to eat people food. That's that's so great. She's not going to eat in our plates anymore. I mean, that's pretty logical that she's eating in our plates because she hasn't she doesn't have any food. Oh. Uh, I think Nadel is done with his homework. That's great. I'm wondering, does he has now uh, some extra credit to do? Oh yes, he does. Maybe he can do that tomorrow morning though, because he's really tired right now. And they've been going to sleep really late, fairly late, sorry, for the last couple of days. So maybe it can be nice for them too to go back to bed at a reasonable hour. And Willow wants to tell a joke. Uh, let's do an inside joke. Apparently the food is not good. It's excellent. Oh, that's right. He's still in his picky eater phase. Oh, not anymore. So why are you so picky with your food, Nadal? Well then. And she also wants to do a heartfelt compliment. Let's do that. And then maybe Nadal can give one as well. Oh no, I don't think so. Never mind. Back for new toys. Maybe we can ask her about day. Natal would be that kind of little boy, you know, to wonders how her mother's day has been. How things went for her. Because as I said, he's pretty responsible. He's really wondering if his mother is happy. He realizes all the sacrifices she made for him. I'll to help to fix that relationship with Richmond. I mean, his birthday is coming up soon. So I've been thinking that maybe 
Natal would like for his father to be here at his birthday. So maybe at some point we can go with Natal and Richmond to a restaurant and have a conversation pretty serious. And maybe we can ask Richmond to come to Natal's birthday party and just try to improve their relationship with each other. You know, because, I mean, Natal, he's really missing his dad. He knows that he's out there and he's never really seeing him, so... Yeah, I think this is really something that bothers him. Uh, first, can you clean the little box, please, Natel? And then I'm going to have Willie put you to bed. Put Natel to bed. I just love doing that with this family, I mean. We know she's a single mom. She's taking care of her son. Alright, so I think I'm going to leave you here. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, everyone. <laughs>